Two Shades Gabby back with more Tales of Adventure. Today I'm going to go through the second penny box that I picked up the other day. It's my usual order. Um, normally I get two boxes of halves, one box of pennies. Due to a sickness, I didn't get my halves, so they gave me two boxes of pennies. And now we're going to do the second one. That's right over there. And see so what we find. Um, no wheat penny enders or anything, but there was a really nice looking... 2009 really nice uh, the last box I did get my three pounds of copper and I got 11 wheat pennies not a single 2009 in the bunch this one is gonna have one anyway uh, let's oh yeah I uh, went to a Chinese buffet today brought those home so any of y'all are welcome to those if you want them <laughs> let's get started right away I'm in my sixth row, just flipping along, and look at what I find. <laughs> I found my dime. It's a pretty good start. I haven't found a wheat penny or anything else. Uh, the uh, 2009 was super nice one. Very, very nice. So today I'm going to take a little bit of time to look for a few extra things. I'm looking for the double ear on the 84s and the 92. The close a and &M. In fact, I have two right here that I'm going to have to look at underneath the Tom Love because it, they look closer than the other ones I saw. So we'll take another look at those. And uh, I'm checking out, of course, I'm trying to check the 2023s um, better. The last couple of boxes I didn't look as much. And there's even the 88, 89. No, the 98, 99, and 2000s apparently have a wide AM instead of the close AM, which is good or rare, whatever. So anyway, I'm slowing down a little bit, looking for a few of these and um, see, see if I come up with anything. I'm just not used to slowing down so much, uh, checking so many different coins. It's difficult for me, but maybe I should get used to it. I don't know. One of these days, I may uh, be glad I did or wish I did or whatever. Eighty-four. So, let's see, we're gonna look for a double ear. I don't think there's nothing double ear about that guy. It's an 83 to weigh. I wish my little um, scale would stay on all the time, but it don't. After, I don't know, 20 seconds or so, it goes off. I'm like <clears throat> nine rolls in, I think, and here is a 1978 Canadian copper. That's pretty good shape, that one is. I'll say. Nice. I found a um, non-2004 non-copper one. It's the older Elizabeth. I think this one got pulled out from underneath the lawnmower. That's pretty nasty, but I don't know. I think maybe it's grass. Yuck. If I did it again, <clears throat> I'm trying to take care of a bunch of things this morning. and I stopped to open a roll or two while I was in the middle of it all. And I threw a handful of the new clad pennies in with the uh, copper. Fortunately, I hadn't gotten very far along, so I'll just have to pick them out. Well, here at the end of the 13th roll, I finally do find my first wheat penny, 1950D. So I've been looking at the uh, 84s, looking for the uh, double ear. And, uh, of course, I haven't found anything. And I've looked at several of the uh, 92s for the close AM. And I have 
a couple that I just ain't sure about, so I've stuck about a dozen of them aside that I'm going to look closely at, uh, maybe halfway through the box or something like that, and see if um, I think I've got anything. And uh, I have to say, it's it slows me. And I've been looking at the 2023s, the ones that come to me on the obverse side. And uh, it does, it slows you down, you know. Um, my goal for the year is to get 260 pounds of copper. And if I stopped to look at, for everything in every box, it would, every box would take a week. And I'm just not ready for that yet. It's just, you know, I may regret it someday. I may think, man, if I'd been doing that, you know. But uh, I think this year I'm going to focus still more on the copper. I'm going to look some. I, I've, I'm, you know, enough people are saying you need to be checking. I'm going to be looking some, but I'm not going to spend lots of time this year. And maybe, maybe that will be my focus for next year. We'll see. For instance, <laughs> I just came to this 1960D, so I stopped and did a little research, and I looked at it to see if it had the. Uh, Small date over the large date, and it does not. And the L would be closer to the rim, from what I understand, and it's not there. So, this is not it. This will go into my copper hoard. Oh, I will say one other thing. Um, I spend lots and lots of time going to banks and shuffling, you know. So, I will admit that when I get into looking for the varieties, they'll, I'll spend a lot less time going to lots of banks, taking coins back and forth. So that, that does have that in its favor. This is the very next row, and here's uh, wheat number two. And it is a 51D. I tell you, it's a lot of research just studying, knowing what all coins to look for. Golly. If you're going for the varieties. I probably will pick, you know, a um, half dozen or a dozen things to look for. Because, man, I, <laughs> trying to learn them all is probably, uh, just right off the bat, is more than I want to try to take on. Real nice 69 and 67 here, and I'm comparing it to a 2023. And it looks to me like they've made some slight changes to Lincoln. It looks a little bit wider through here to me. And his face just looks, I don't know, like maybe he's a few pounds heavier or something. He just looks a little bit different. This here <laughs> is wheat penny number three. I'm in the 19th row. And this one's in pretty good shape. Pretty nice still. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I just can't tell you how much slow I'm going. It's so much slower than I'm used to going. It's hard to adjust. But I told myself I'm going to look for some more on this one, so I'm... I'm doing it. I'm stopping at things. People are still saying to me that the 17P is worth money. I, I looked on eBay, and unless they're you know, super, super, super nice. I'm not seeing any money for them. Somebody show me where I'm wrong. 94P. That's the D. 
Lamy 4P has the DD reverse. You know, not to mention all the stuff that we're talking about. Then there's also the die cracks and all that other stuff. Pretty nice one there. I've got about two rolls before I get into the second half of this box. And there's a 1947. That's my fourth wheat penny. And this one's in the 40s. Wahoo! I think somewhere around halftime, I'll uh, look at like this one. I'll stick it over there, and I don't see anything. But I'll look closer, like for the devil ears on, on that guy. And a few of these other things I have put aside. I know the 98 through 2000 has the wide AM, but <sighs> I'll get to that one next time. You guys are killing me with these uh, variables, <laughs> the varieties, <laughs> variants. Here's a nice 1971S for the coin folder. Here at the end of the 25th row, the end of the first half, I find another Canadian copper 12-sided. 1982. Let's weigh it. No, I'm kidding. I thought that was fun. Here's a few of the 84s I looked at, but I don't see any extra ears. This one has a pretty modern haircut, but I don't think there's a double ear there. Here's several that I looked at for the close AM. I would say even this one is pretty doggone close compared to the first several I did. What are your thoughts? I'd sure like to hear. <laughs> you know, I may have something here. This is definitely uh, right, uh, touching each other practically, whereas all the others were noticeably apart. I'll definitely stick this one aside. I do hope to hear from some of you to tell me your thoughts, because I think I may have something here. Kind of cool. Well, now we are in the second roll in the second half, and here is Wheat Penny number five. 51D. Oh, there's another one. Cool beans, number six. 49, nice. So maybe this second half will be better than the first half. We had four in the first half. And I'm going to be sticking some more aside uh, for the end of the box to um, look at them with my Tom Love. I'm glad that the 23s, with my little magnifier, I can see the three dots down there. And just if there's a fourth one, it's just a hair wider than the three are over to the right side. I guess you'd call that the right side. All right, look at that. There's a <laughs> two dimes now for this box. Nice. Not silver, but that's okay. Okay, I just thought of a story to tell. 
Uh, this, this story, uh, I was somewhere between 23 and 24. I don't know what months exactly to know for sure. Uh, this roll, I'll just look for copper and wheat so I don't get bogged down. And uh, anyway, um, I had I had already straightened my life out. I was trying to live a good Christian life. And I met a buddy, and the two of us decided we wanted some adventure. And we took off, and we moved to Louisiana. <laughs> and we actually ended up in Baton Rouge. We thought we was going to go to Texas, but it didn't work out. <laughs> anyway. We were in Baton Rouge area, and we got odd jobs. And I had been uh, carpet cleaning. I'd bought some of my own equipment a few years earlier, and we took it with us. And so uh, we got an apartment down there, and he went to work for, I don't know, World Bazaar or something like that. And uh, I worked, and we also did some work for uh, McDonald's. Actually, it was a guy that owns like 13 different McDonald's privately owned. And we actually worked for them for a day or two a week. And um, I did a couple of other odd jobs, but also I did some carpet cleaning. And we would go out and hand out cards and different things. And we, we got a phone number and we were gone so much. <laughs> and... And we, we made a lot of friends. We joined this church down there and made a bunch of friends. And uh, uh, I can't tell what that is. Ran around with them all the time. That's copper. And just I had, a, we had a great time down there. And there was a, so I was like 23 or 24, and there was a teenage girl. And she, her family, they lived like the next town over, but they came to church. And she would come. And um, do stuff with the group with us sometimes, you know. And she, I don't know, I don't know the home life real well or anything, but she just wanted to be out of the house more and there was nothing for her to do in this little town. So we worked out a deal with her where she would, when we were gone working and stuff, we'd have her come to our apartment and just sit around and answer the phone. Just in case I got a call for carpet cleaning, she would set it up for me and one day let me get the next row going one day I, six or eight or ten of us I don't know a bunch of us got together and decided to go down to the uh, state capitol because there's <laughs> Baton Rouge is flat folks I mean that area is really flat <clears throat> I used, as we were driving around down there I'd say wherever you saw a hill you'd find a hole next to it because they had to make the hill but anyway, at the Capitol building, they built it up on hills. They, it, they, they'd roll and then fl and roll. And we took a bunch of big pieces of cardboard down there. And was just uh, having a blast sliding down the hill. And every now and then, you'd, you'd catch each one of the uh, rifts in the hill. And you'd, you'd make the whole way. Sometimes... You wouldn't make it. You'd get stopped at one of the little humps in the middle. But, it, you know, we had a great time. But the, the, the embarrassing part is I had gotten down the hill, only made it like halfway one particular time. And I stand up, just as I stand up and turn around to head back up the hill, this young girl, 16-year-old girl, has is sliding down, and she just runs right into my legs and I fall forward and I reach out to stop myself from, you know, and literally each one of my hands is cupped on each one of her breasts and we're, our faces are about a half an inch from each other. And <laughs> it was one embarrassing moment. I'll tell you, Oh, we, <laughs> It was funny, but it was embarrassing. But now part two to that story. After so many months, my buddy decided he wanted to move back. And so I just decided to come back with him. Wow, that's a nice one. That's good shape. Anyway, uh, 
after we got back up here in, I don't know, a week or two, after we got up here, I got a phone call one day. And it was this young girl's mother. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this. She said, would you come down here and get my daughter and just marry her? She needs a husband. <laughs> Phew, that was bizarre. I, I turned her down. <laughs> I said, you got a sweet daughter, but uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know whatever became of her, but uh, she didn't become my bride. At the end of the 10th row in the second half, I get my 7th Sweet Penny, 1951. Ah, and a couple rows later, we have Wheat Penny number 8. Nice. 56D. It's pretty early in the morning. I just got up a minute ago. All my faculties aren't churning yet. I've still got 10 rolls left in the second half, and here is number 9, 1944D. Maybe we'll get our 10 after all. Pretty cool. I'm gathering up a few more coins to look at when I get done. See if we've got a variety. I'll weigh that ugly thing to see if it's a copper. It is. Put that in the side. That's the uh, 84, the double ear. We'll look at it a little closer. Hey, we found another Canadian. That's the only third copper one that I have found. Whoops, it's found in this box. Oh, 57, pretty old one. Nice. Nice indeed. Oh, 50, 50, another wheat penny. There it is. That's number 10. We made it. <laughs> cool. I guess I did better on the second half than I did the first half of this box. How about that? Oh, what in the world? That's funky looking. Just a couple rolls later, and here is another Canadian copper, 12 sided. 1982. With three rolls to go, here is Wheat Penny number 11. It's turned out to be a pretty good box after all. 55D. And I may have that close AM. Try to see if it's worth anything. Check that one later. I see a Canadian. Nice. Seventy-three. Well, they're stacking up over there. Now the big question is, will there be three pounds of copper? I've gone through all the pennies now, except I've got several up there that I have to look at under the Tom Love. I did get 11 wheat pennies. I've got away a whole bunch of 82s. <laughs> I just don't have enough room in my office here, I tell you. It's crazy. Um... 
Anyway, I'll get these weighed and added today's copper and weigh that, see if I got my three pounds, and then I'll come back and weigh, I mean, I'll come back and look at the rest of these uh, pennies for the triple ears and, and all the other weird stuff, and I'll see if I find anything else. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we got our three pounds today. I think maybe we did. Oh, we did. Three pounds and two ounces. Another really good box, I tell you. <laughs> I keep thinking one of these days they're going to start getting less, but only occasionally have I gotten under three pounds. I've been pretty steady, I guess you'd say. And that's pretty cool. Let me add these to uh, the other box. Here we are. I've got four 15-pound um, boxes that are full and sealed for this year, plus seven pounds, seven plus. So we're at si close to 68, 67 and a half pounds for 2024. All right. Here's a few more looking for the close AM, and these are not. And here's a few that's definitely close, uh, especially the second one. Are they worth anything? I'm pretty new uh, at looking for these varieties, and so any feedback you can give me would be great. Do you think I have something here? I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.